What's up, fam? A um, little bit, a little bit late right now. Uh, apologies for that. I've been incredibly busy for the last few hours um, with meetings and just got back from the gym. I am exhausted yet again. Another 10 p.m. night, burning the candle at both ends. But wanted to get this out to you to just kind of talk about what's going on recently because what's been going on has been crazy. So, just generally speaking, uh, we've been tracking Max Payne for, this is gonna be week 12. Week 12, and we are three days away from it falling in Max Payne range again, again. So, I mean, the stock is obeying that open interest to an incredibly strict and very unarguable uh, level. Um, there's no reason to think it won't continue to do that moving forward. They're trying to make as much money as they possibly can before these squeeze moves begin. So that the move to eight was talked about. <sighs> Damn, when did I first start talking about that? I believe in April, because April is when I thought we would see it. So it's probably even before that. It's probably March. So it's been that long. I mean, like you're talking three or four months, four months straight. Like we talked about the eight level being the level that I thought I was going to. Um, no one could have predicted that it would have been in one 15 minute candle, 95% candle. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Like, you know, organically it could have, you know, to 550, retrace, 620, retrace, eight. Makes sense. That's how stocks are supposed to work. But now with AMC, um, it's no secret that it's the most manipulated stock of all time. And we have our hands completely full in trying to track this damn thing. So just want to give you my thesis now that we have actually seen eight because it's incredibly important. Every single time a uh, some type of squeeze move happens, it's an integral piece of the puzzle for us to know what comes next. So now that we finally got that move, um, we can just have a better idea of what to look for for the next six months. Um, I want to talk about the 620 stair step quick. So that was wrong because it was too um, late. That the eight move was supposed to happen the weekend of 4th of July. Uh, sequencing wise, I, I mean, I had it down to the day. It started running that Monday. I believe it was July, 4th of July was a Tuesday, right? It was July 3rd, it started running. So nailed it down to the day, but we didn't get the percentage move that we I wanted. So we know AMC likes to run um, during holiday weekends because that's when everyone's distracted. It, it just made so much sense to run it that week and they didn't. So they delayed it another two weeks and it's just, that one's gonna kick me in the ass for the, the rest of the time. That's why I won't be able to sleep. Like there, here's June 28th. Right, I know you guys remember these posts because I was just fucking nailing algo sequences left and right. Um, but look at this chart. When did I have eight? Tuesday, July 11th at the latest. So if that ran, that run began right here, right? Called the bottom to the day. And it started, but it wasn't 10%. Like I, I, you needed to see that whatever five level on July 3rd for me to be convinced that it was going to eight in an organic manner. But that's not the plan that they had. So it, every time AMC makes some type of squeeze fractal move, it's something usually unexpected. You know, they, they figure out a way to do something no one's ever seen before. So it, just oh, I'm always trying to think like 10 steps ahead of the game to anticipate what's coming next because there's not a soul on Twitter that told you that it was gonna run 95% in the one 15 minute candle. The the closest people, there was probably like five people that got really close to like the window of when it ran. Like Sam, that guy Astro, like he, he saw it on OnlyFlows that the, the put selling activity was like the highest it's ever been on AMC's chain in history. And the moment 4 p.m. hit and those puts were cleared out, the fucking thing went ballistic, right? So that's not coincidence, that's design. We hit our max paying range last week perfectly. We ended at 440, I told you guys 401 to 449, we ended at 440. So everyone who 
whatever, sold options and, and bought out on Friday, made 100% on their premiums. Um, but damn, dude, like <laughs> that Band-Aid rip, like that is, that is a massively coordinated move between different institutions like that are like they're holding AMC down with these the max pain like the open interest on the chain they're holding it in a range every single week we watch it be pinned and it's doing it again this week and everyone on Twitter was like yo it's gonna keep running yada yada like no man that's it's not gonna keep running like it's obeying max pain and we have to operate under the assumption that it will continue moving forward so yeah, um, a lot of people got close to the window. I'm so friggin' happy if you did. But, like, then again, I mean, look what they did to the stock after. <laughs> they brought it to, they brought it to 860, whatever it was. And then by Monday, it was down, like, 40%. You know what I mean? Like, 60%, whatever. Like, you didn't even, if you didn't get out Monday morning, you didn't get shit. You might have maybe 5 x your money on that option. But dude, like you should have been able to 20 extra money on that option. So they're aware and they're fucking with us, okay? They don't want us to make big bucks, okay? They're aware that people on Twitter, like myself, have really nailed down how it works on like the micro. And there's a couple other people too that are, are doing outstanding TA and getting really close. Um, and I don't doubt for a second that like, the most powerful firms in the world are watching Twitter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you don't think they have like a fucking secret PR firm like hunting down Twitter and AMC posts to see if like we fit, like if we figure something out and we post it, fuck dude, they might change it. They might be like, oh shit, Nick had it nailed to the day. This kid, he's telling everyone, fucking move it. Like you never know, like, you, you get a bunch, you get, you know, uh, dude, I, I get a lot of impressions on Twitter, like over 4 million. So like people are seeing this shit. So it's, if we get multiple guys talking about it and, and nailing it down, like trading with emotion, Sam, fucking bam. You know what I mean? Like it's just, I don't know. I think they're watching us a bit. So there's nothing we can do about that. But we now know or have a better idea of where we are in the sequence because we finally got that run. now. Um, we didn't get the stair step. The stair step would have made sense. Like I was watching the max pain numbers. So the stair step to 620 instead of eight would have made perfect sense um, for more than a few reasons, not just max pain. The retracement would have been 40%, which AMC has done multiple times and it would have landed us right by August 13th, like which would have timed the top near time, uh, term top with spy. And it just like, it just really fit sequencing wise. Um, that 620 run. So I'm kind of kind of surprised that that they didn't go that route. I'm surprised. I'm I'm not surprised the way they did the eight run. But I am surprised that they actually did an eight run. Um but the way I mean the way they went about it was basically fuck this thing's going to go to eight. We have to let the lid off for whatever reasons, equity futures that had to be rolled or um you know, the option chain, the OPEX expiring, and they were like, this thing's gonna blow, let's figure out the best way to do it so people can't hit it in an option. And they fucked everybody. So we gotta just keep that in mind that like, they're gonna do everything they can to make sure we make as little money as possible. So um, back to back to the chart really quick. Um, and hold up, this is the fucking kicker, and this is what's so, it's so weird about this. Look at the candle on the regular hours chart. 623. <laughs> 623. I said 620 stair step and the regular candle ends at 623 and the after hours candle ends at fucking the 8, 850 range, right? So it's like, it's like I was right like both ways in a way, you know what I mean? Like, but you know, price target wise, but obviously timing wise, I was, dude, I was 10 days off. I said July 11th and it fucking ran. It ran July 21st. I was 10 days off, which is just, it's funny. Um, whatever. So 
we're here now. We're here now. And we got our move to eight. And that's fucking awesome. Um, since uh, I think May it was, I posted about it and I was very, very clear about it. I, uh, AMC, usually when they're, it runs these, you know, it's repeating fractal sequences, it runs it in um, like a two tap formation, right? You guys know very clearly what the repeating pattern is, right? One hump, two hump, little hump, Jan, June, 70% sell off. And it repeats, 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 right? The one hump, two hump, right, is your double bottom, okay? But as of late, as of late, they've been changing and altering these fractals so you can't notice that it looks like this. Like, they know that we know that it repeats and what it looks like. They know that we know the formation. One, two, little, Jan, Jun, it's off, right? But now you look at something else like this, and this is the same thing, bro. It's the same thing. But fuck, man, does that look like kind of weird? You know what I'm saying? Like, usually um, AMC, when it when it does these, it does it in like a head and shoulders pattern. Um, but like, look, look how weird this is, right? Like, this is supposed to be a head and shoulders, right? Left shoulder, the middle shoulder, the middle head is lower. And then your right shoulder is your UTAD higher, which makes this look like the middle shoulder. So it makes it look like it would go like this. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't. It just utahs and fucking gets killed. And um, it's these little differences in the math that they're changing that changes the geometrical shape of, of the repeating fractal as we know it. And it's just harder to see. Um, but I mean, in essence, it's the same thing. It's like one hump, two hump, little hump, Jan, June, sell off, right? It's the same shit. So it just looks a little different. And now we get to this we get to the tri top, right? Which is where we are now. And it's tri top, tri top again, but smaller, right? And usually, and I've said this plenty of times in videos, when AMC starts to make a new fractal that looks different than the previous one, like this is brand new. We never saw something that looked like this really before, besides like the, the Jan June run in 2021. Like that's the closest thing that looks to this, but it's just, it's a very weird, a very weird head and shoulders pattern. It's not clear at all. Like here's a clear head and shoulders pattern, basically. You know, it's as clear as it's gonna look. They're manipulating everything though. So um, to get a normal double bottom is too fucking obvious. It's too obvious. They're on to us. They know it double bottoms every time in the first beginning of the fractal sequence. So what they've been doing, throwing people off, are triple bottoms. And we've seen it in the past when it does, like here's like a clear as day. Like double bottom, double bottom, double bottom, double bottom, double bottom, right? And now all of a sudden they're like throwing these like weird like triple bottom type things at us. And here's kind of like an example of it. It'd be like one bottom, this is like a fake bottom, and then this is a, the last, but that's, it is three. So that's what I thought um, just practice sequence wise, it was going to, it was gonna do this time. And, and like, look at where we're at, right? Here would be your first bottom. Okay, here would be that after hours guillotine that they gave us, 55% drop that went down to 360. That's your second bottom. This don't even count, really. It's got a dip, it's got a dip. Like I need a hard dip, I need to see like 370. So I want that third bottom to be here, okay? Now we know that the CRS is happening. Anyone saying that it's not happening, you just heard Adam Aaron tweet like a day ago saying we're still in debt we still need money dude he's prepping you saying like we're about to reverse split and we're about to converge like we need to dilute again to make money it is happening okay they pull this bullshit move with the settlement news after hours to get it to eight and then adam comes out with his you know statement on sunday to just destroy any momentum that this um, squeeze fractal like had, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's it's so fucked. Like the amount of like they have a gun to his head, dude. They're like you're you're literally gonna you're gonna stop this this from running because shit, man. This could have probably went to twelve, <laughs> could have went to fifteen, but Adam Aaron comes out with that post and it's over. So we know where we are. Okay, I, I just have. A really, really good 
idea that we are going back to 370 at this point in time. Um, this is really important because they did it in after hours, okay? The charts don't look the same, okay? Like I said, this bar is at 624, 623, okay? 40% retracements is what AMC has been doing in its triple top. Right, 40 to 50% retracements, right? Usually it makes 70% retracements when it does that full fractal, but if it's a smaller version, the retracement is also smaller, okay? So that's what I want from, and don't count the after hours move, count where the bar is in real time. So I'm talking 40, 50% from 620 is what we should see next for the sell-off. So, you know, like I was talking earlier in the week about a potential double top. Yeah, but like, you know, it could be like this. It could be like shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be to 550. That could be your double top. It, it's not going to, it's not gonna breach 620 again. Like highly convinced that it will not breach 620 again. Uh, because they wouldn't have hammered it down so violently and so quickly if they were just gonna run it back up. It doesn't make any sense. Like, just think from like a common sense standpoint really quick, right? They run it after OPEX trades cleared, okay? The amount of puts that were on that OPEX chain is all negative delta pressure if their puts bought, okay? Or calls sold. It's negative delta pressure, okay? Once that was that held down the stock in that max pain range for the whole week and once that was cleared out 4 p.m Light switch, bro. The thing fucking went parabolic, right? So it, Like it just it shows their strategy They know they can hold it down with open interest on the chain every single week um, And they know if they pull some after-hours bullshit They can short it down immediately and get it back to the level that they need it to be like Nothing is coincidence. It's very, very specific. They want you, they wanted you to miss that run. They wanted you to miss it, okay? If you had calls expiring on the 21st, you missed that, dude. You you didn't hit that. When 4 p.m. comes, it's over, dude. It's over, right? So, like, you know, debate here and there about taking delivery and shit. No, it's fucking over at 4 p.m. Your calls expire. It's over. So, Monday comes and that's when the FOMO kicks in, right? People start chasing, they buy calls, yada, yada. And then there's like, look what's happened since it opened, like another 20%. Um, it's just a complete hatchet job. And we're all aware, I, I could go on for days about it, but back to my point, they don't just take a stock that goes like this in fucking 15 minutes and then do everything they can possible to make it drop this low, this fast, 40% in two days. They don't do that for no reason. They don't want a double top. They don't want it to have a little juice to get back up. They drop it down this far on purpose so you don't ever have a chance to short it from where it was if you wanted to buy puts on it which I wouldn't because the IV was, the premiums were stupid high, but um, that that has purpose to me, right? So now we're getting at this point where the S&P is very toppy, okay? Tesla just hit a major, major macro downtrend wall. Um, and it doesn't look like it's, it might recover a little bit, might have a little double top, um, but dude, Powell's hiking 0.25 tomorrow. It's a 99% lock. So they might fake a double top or whatever, but you gotta remember OPEX, like all that stuff just got cleared out. Um, the institutions have control of the options chain now. Um, and there's a lot of people short. So I don't expect any upward movement at all for AMC, at all for the S&P, at all for Tesla, et cetera, et cetera. Like I expect the blue chips to top here in the next like eight business days. And then August is gonna be a bloodbath. Like I expect, major percentage drops on the blue chips, you know, 20, 35% big stuff. 
um, the entire month of August. And during that period is where you get AMC back to 370 with the rest of the market. It's a 40% drop from 620 um, on the money. Like at the same time, simultaneously, right? You get Ape to squeeze up to 370. Shit, eight might even squeeze a little bit higher than 370. Eight might go to like five bucks in some crazy squeeze scenario. And then retrace to 370 and meet AMC and they meet in perfect harmony. They converge, they reverse split at the same exact time and 370 turns into $37, okay? It is that this moment in time where shit gets real because, and just explaining this in layman's terms, if you were short Apple, stock and you're a, you're short a hundred million dollars apple stock you're an institution right and you're borrowing shares borrowing shares to short apple short apple and apple all of a sudden combines with tesla right they're the same company and the company is called company x right you can not not short the entirety of company x you have to short the tesla side now too you can't just be short apple right you have to be short both so that's what's going on with Ape and AMC. Like shorts dove in aggressively when that preferred equity dividend bullshit came out and dropped 70% from in August and killed us. Um, was it a 94% drop from the top? Like fuck off. So <laughs> once they converge, um, and I've talked to Avi about this multiple times, they will have to purchase like short firms will have uh, short institutions will have to purchase real shares of um, ape once it converges into AMC and becomes AMC again. Like they don't own shares of ape right now. They're just shorting it. They're like naked shorting it. They're just borrowing against it, whatever. They don't own shit. Like the fail to delivers on ape on day one was like 44 million. <laughs> like the day the stock was issued, like it, 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 it's a fucking joke, right? So. They have to buy shares when it converges. And, you know, Adam Aaron, he knows this. And that's why this is like the route he's going, whatever. Um, but Adam's, he's playing both sides. So, you know, he's going to help us in that sense. Um, the reverse split is bad. It means dilution is coming, which is what Adam wants and what he needs to get AMC out of debt. But in the short term, it will make AMC squeeze to $10. You will see $10. So back to the... Um, and and let me make this clear. Ten dollars on a one to ten reverse split is a hundred dollars. Okay, it's going to cause a lot of FOMO, a lot of FOMO, because a lot of people that don't even know what a reverse split is, and don't get it twisted. Ninety nine percent of the country doesn't. <laughs> um, they're going to see a hundred dollar fucking price on CNBC, on CNN, on Fox when this thing goes, and every friggin' person that you know. It makes me so upset because they're just not educated and they could know what's going on. And that's why I make these videos because they're going to get trapped. They're gonna see AMC at a hundred bucks and they're gonna think it's actually a hundred bucks and it's 10. It's just an accounting loophole, it means nothing, right? You have a higher price tag on AMC stock price, but you have less shares, 10 times higher price, 10, less, 10 times less shares. Um, it's not a hundred dollar stock. It's a ten dollar stock if it squeezes. Now, that would be basically the top of the market. Um, you know the S and P and AMC top at the same time. How many times has that happened? Sixty five. I, I had another chart lining up all the tops. It's more than that. Like it's like four hundred times. But sixty five ones that were like really clear that I could show you like in two seconds. Um, that is your trap, guys. That's your trap. I just don't know when timing wise it's going to happen. Now, if I want to be in like a normal sequencing attitude, like and state of mind, this white route makes sense a lot to me. And it's the original route that I had on my super macro for months on end, months on end. It was eight, 370, 10, 280, eight, right? So eight, 370, 10, 288, okay? The issue is this part I'm nervous about because I think the timing here is perfect. I think you get that CRS before September 5th. And I think you see 370 before September 5th. 
um, right here. The problem is, and this is the problem, I know how these algorithms work. I am, I am so on to this shit. I, I've, I've been in this world for so long. Um, 11, 11 years, dude, in the financial world. Six on Wall Street, working for a liquidity aggregator, currency broker. I've worked with over 15 different trading software systems. Um, I've managed like 150 billion in trade flow, dude. Like I could throw my resume at you all day, but I like, I know how they think and they don't want you to be able to time this easily, right? Just like they didn't want you to be able to time the eight move easily, right? So this is too easy. This seems too nice. Like for them to go to 370 and then like a month later it's 10 bucks, it just seems too easy. So I'm going with route blue, okay? I think they are going to drag this shit out. Max Payne, bullshit over and over and over again from September to December. I think the whole fall is just gonna be nothing. You're gonna get massively stale price action. It's gonna obey the OI and, and Max Payne numbers every single week. And then once the year ends, that's when you get your squeeze. That's when you get your squeeze. That's what I think. That's how I think it's gonna go. Um, and anyone sitting at home saying, Nick, what are you talking about? How You're saying they can delay it another four months? Like that's bullshit. They've never done it before. Oh, they've never done it before. Huh. One sec. Never done it before, huh? It's like literally bar for bar. Here's your run. Drag, 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 drag. December. It's the same fucking thing. It's the same thing. They close the year strong. Everyone thinks, oh, you know, the S&P is good. We're at 4,600, 4,700. And you get your top in January. It squeezes. And then say fucking goodbye. So that's it, guys. Uh, I know this, I wanted to keep this short, but there was a lot of talk, a lot to talk about. Oh, the Goldman Sachs thing, $175 price target. It's one of two things. I mean, they're either talking about pre-reverse split or post-reverse split. It don't mean shit either way because it works both ways, right? Pre-reverse split, um, 175 bucks, which is basically my fake MOAS target for the end of next year. So it works that way. And post-reverse split, 174 bucks. Um, again, dude, you'd be at, if it goes to 10 bucks, you're at 100 already. So they're basically saying 174, it's gonna go to $17.40. Um, so, and that would be in January. So it, it makes sense both ways. Like they, they look like the good guys, like they predicted it both ways. And they're experts at creating FOMO, like Goldman Sachs isn't your friend, bro. They're, they don't care about you. Um, they're trying to kill you. So <laughs> um, they're trying to take all your money and they're, in cahoots with the custodians, with the other banks, with the regulatory bodies, uh, and that's that. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I will be posting this chart moving forward. Blue route is what I want to see. Any questions? Notify me.